It's family game night at the Smiths. Welcome back. I'm your host, Tuttle, and we're playing the newlywed game. I'm not part of your family. I want to go home. But you're doing a great job. Also, remember our arrangement. You host, or you get this. All right, gentlemen, let's see. Books, DVDs, and posters. Stan's hero is Guy Fieri. Fieri's the coolest cat in America. Shaking his tail feather with the five S's. Style, smiles, sickness, slickness, and smoked meats that are oh so tender. And guess what, kiddies? He's in time. Well, it's game on for Klaus, too. I'm taking my new outfit out tonight to score some honeys. Whatever, go to hell. No, no, f you, Klaus. Now, to our leading couple, who have not missed a question yet. Haley, who is your husband's personal hero? That would be Ben Dronker. Favorite's so loud. The other weeds will hear you. Every one of Jeff's answers is marijuana related. It's why they're winning. His only interest is getting stoned. Dad? He's got no job, no future. There's nothing to him besides smoking pot. Mr. S, you're stressing me out. <laughs> Tuttle, let the newlywed morning USA. I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. The sun in the sky has a smile on his face, and he's shining a salute to the American race. Oh boy, it's well to say. Good morning, USA. Your dad's right. Maybe my identity is all about weed. I don't know if maybe's the right word i need to take a walk and think things over want me to go with you babe nah i'm just gonna go do some circles in the laundry room i've been eavesdropping oh he wants me to do Haley. yes i was just talking to our mutual friend Haley. you can leave that open jeff i hate to plant this idea in your head but Haley's also been complaining that you have no identity slash job oh no Wait, I like pizza. Maybe I... I think that might be genius. I wonder if my identity is someone who puts olives on a pizza. Not bad. Don't you know who that is? Some county treasurer? That's Guy Fieri! Shh, don't interrupt. He's about to hunch. I'm getting the fennel and fattiness from the sausage. A nice kick of cayenne in the sauce. Buddy, talk He looks like you. I'm not really seeing it. I swear, boss, let me show you. A little more mustache, some cool earring. There it is. I see the resemblance. There's something about this dude who looks like me that I just like. Brother, you have got to hang with us. <gasps> no way. Oh, baby, what's your name? Black Nissan. You think I'm some car valet because of my white shirt, my bow tie, my sweet vest, my foreign accent? Oh, balls. Hold on, maybe we just go with it. Could be a great opportunity to pick up a few bucks. And a lucky break, too. I don't have a dime on me. Nothing? You told me you were paying for the- I found an olive slice that looked like a donut. Well, no wonder you're so tired. Oh, and also, Guy Fieri came in. He asked me to hang out with him. And some friends of his he calls the Pesto Crew. Guy Fieri asked you to join his posse? Yeah, but they seem kind of weird, so I think I'll pass. Well, if you're not interested, then you shouldn't- That means? Mr. S, she just said 25 words in a row. People don't think I count words. But sometimes I do. Jeff, this is your identity. It is? Yes. What greater identity is there than giving me access to Guy Fieri? Well, it doesn't seem like I'd fit in with Don't those. disappoint. To save your marriage, you'll join the Pesto Crew. It's exactly what Haley craves. How do you know? Because we share the same sperm DNA. Everything I like, she likes too. It's genetics. Of course. Genetics! Oh my god, Jeff. Are you making the case to me, scientifically, that you need to join the Pesto Crew? Show up, you clam! <laughs> <laughs> that man is waggling his penis at me! No one's stopping you from waggling back, Cracker Jack! <laughs> man, oh 
man, he's on top of the- They serve ribs, and it'll be called Guy's Art Town Motorcycle Munchies. Haley, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your marriage to Jeff. Dad, you could have said that at my wedding instead of demanding that the band play more white music. <gasps> Can it really be? Meet the fam. Guy's here! A buttery sponge. Mm, that is the definition of stupid in Flavortown. Uh, would you care to sit? Guy only eats standing up. Yeats eats sitting down. Wait, everybody eats sitting down. Hey! Chef! Mr. Fieri, I'm Jeff's father-in-law, Stan. Own sperm DNA. Get off me! Uh-oh, someone's on the rag. Don't worry, she keeps tampons in her purse. Look at me, I'm a bigwig. I'm gonna do a factory. Jeff! <laughs> I'm saving my marriage. Not true. Nope, never. Stan, you have to get him to quit. <sighs> I'm afraid we've come to an impasse. You're not budging. I'm not budging. There's no choice left but family war. Men versus women. <laughs> Steve, it's family war. Steve. Jeff, let me be very clear. But they're pretty funny guys. Jeff, I'm not kidding around. Promise. I will. I promise. This is nice. Ah! Family war! Steve, it's going down! Where are you? Ed. Lumpy. Was that... Was that Steve's voice? You're supposed to get a new bed every ten years. How long have I had this thing? So... Keep parking cars? Yeah, keep parking cars! <laughs> There's something I need to talk about. Well, that sounds serious. Due to marital circumstances, I have to quit the pesto crew. And if you're looking for someone to replace him, here's a chicken breast I've been marinating for eight years in Mountain Dew and soy sauce. Please consider this my application. I refuse this. I haven't announced it yet, but I'm retiring. And Jeff, I want you to run my empire. Me? Why? You have the stuff to be Chief Junkyard Dog of Flavortown. That sounds amazing. It's just that Haley... Do it, you maroon! But... She did sauce. She said... Remember, this is coming from your future number one toady, so you know I'm giving it to you straight. I think you're right. This is something I need to do. Mr. Fieri, I accept your offer to run the Empire. Gangsta choice. To the new Guy Fieri. Welcome to the Smith House. The kind of joint where you can throw peanut shells right on the floor. Jeff, you said you were going to quit. Quiet, please. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. Jeff, our room, now. You promised, promised you would quit the pesto crew. Down with some icy cold cervezas. Jeff. You crossed a serious line in our relationship. See, this is what I love. Talking to real people about real things. That's my America. Please, I need you to listen. No, no, I am not gonna fist bump. Jeff, I feel betrayed. More? <laughs> Dang, I warned him his marriage was in danger, but he just wouldn't listen. Yesterday, I ate something pickled, and I was like, whoo. Jeff, this breaks my heart more. Weird, but your stupid hat covers all. Impossible. Jeff, what is going on? Talk to me. Sammy Hagar likes poblano peppers. Take those stupid glasses off. There's something extremely strange happening with Jeff. I can't explain it, but I do know one thing. When you have questions, there's only one place to get answers. The public library. I could have sworn this homeless shelter was once a library. Anything's... The Eternal Fieri. Bingo. Guy Fieri is a mischievous ancient demon who has existed since the dawn of mankind. The demon survives by taking control of a human body. Once inside, it eats its weight in food every four and a half days. 
When diabetes inevitably pinky rings, my God, the demon has moved into Jeff. Jeff is Guy Fieri. Do you have infinite jest? Francine, you need to brace yourself. That's not Jeff. That's a demon. What up, Goose? And the only way to remove the demon is to return it to where it was, which is why I'm taking Jeff there now. Hey, want to boogie down the shore for a little bit of sizzle? We talking road trip? Big Bonanza style. Out of bounds. I'll take this to go, Big Mama. Hey, good looking dude. I'm home. Oh, dang. I left my special driving cane in that Acura TL. Oh, did you, class? Then what's this? Bro, you are literally giving me back my life right now. I'm losing it, buddy. <laughs> I have to have you. This is more like it. So, straight to your place? Uh, going a little fast for the turn, aren't you? What the f This guy lost our cars! We want our cars! Well, you get death! Moms don't need to know everything. My power. Whoa, are you full demon now? I was forged in this spicy habanero mango infused queso. The first element of all God's creation. So it's good? I can never know. For if I sip from the pool, it will destroy me. The demon are a true G. How oh, I lust to taste this. The only flavor I will never get down with. Why can't Haley love this chef? The perfect chef. <sighs> but she doesn't put the shabalaba in ding dong. Wow. I knew it! Tell me how it tastes! That's good. Give me more than that, brother. Well, it has a yellowy kind of melted taste. These spices are off the hook. Habanero's totally legit. Mm, now I'm getting big hits of that mango tango. Grease dribbling down the chin good. His beautiful words. They'll be lost forever. I've called things money before. A mistake. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Fieri? Guy? Is this you? Hey, Mr. S. No! He wasn't a demon. He was an angel. So your husband... Your stupid husband. Jeff! What are you covered in? The cheese was a portal, babe. Oh. And while I was traveling through the cheese portal, I did some serious thinking. I realize the only identity I ever need is to be the man who loves you. And maybe a little weed on the side. Oh, Jeff. Where the f*** were you during family war? Have a great night.